Where are you at? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Your sweet's ready at my window. Thanks. There you go, man. Can I get a couple napkins? Absolutely. Hey, come back and let me know what you think. Sure, or I guess rather what you thought to be the Did you kill the deer? Popper? No, Ted Nugent might have. Oh, okay. I mean, it's Texas wild, right? right, right so right. I didn't kill it, but the Nuge might have shot it. So how did you get started? In pizza? Um, <clears throat> I tried to pay my way through the end of high school, all of college, and all of grad school. Um, I started delivering pizza, then my car stopped working. Imagine that, right? You're 18. Yeah. And, uh, and so then I started making pizza. You know, at 19, I thought I wanted my own pizza place, right? And then um, I kept wanting it, wanting it, wanting it. And then, like, at some point, I said, well, you know, I looked at like my education and like my degrees and I was like, this isn't worth my time or money, this is stupid. And then at 30, I realized that was probably bullshit. Like that was dumb. <laughs> like it's what I wanted to do. So I started working on it. And um, I mean, long story short is I opened a pizza truck. I mean, yeah. originally I didn't want to do it because I didn't think there was a way to get an oven in a truck, like a my, my beast. Hence the heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this thing, this king cooks at about six. If it's humming right, it should be right above 675. It's at like 650 right now. Um, call it Hell's Mall, because it's hot. It's, it runs all off that gas down there. And then Feel it's, the heat. <laughs> yeah. The gourmet truck community, the food truck community in general here in Houston is really, really tight. Like everybody works together. Everybody, you know, tries to share spots. We try and cover each other's spots when we can. Um, we have, uh, you know, they have meetings, like kind of talk about what's going on in the community. Kind what's, of cool what's going on. Yeah, no, no, I mean, everybody really, works to help each other out. Everyone's been really supportive. So what are you teaching me how to make? All right, first up, I guess for only up, uh, it's called the Drunken Peach. Drunken Peach? It's, um, it's probably my favorite pizza I make in the sense of favorite place in my heart. It started with peaches and habaneros, like those two should go together on a pizza. And then one day I got the decision that you should just put whiskey on everything. <laughs> and that would be a better idea. I agree. <laughs> and like, so yeah, the peaches, um, when I'm done with this, I'll show you when we get to the line. The peaches are cooked in a, in, a, in a syrup. They're made into a simple syrup. It's a simple syrup made out of whiskey. Instead of water, you use booze, booze and sugar. Cook it down until it's nice and candied. And then after that, you add more booze back in so it still tastes like booze. Because half the stuff you get with booze in it, right? Like Gentleman Jack barbecue sauce, whatever, you get never actually tastes like whiskey. I wanted this to taste like whiskey. I'll give you one of the blueberries out of there in a second. When you get it, it tastes like a shot. You guys might want to step back a little bit. Peach truck, everything in here is covered in flour. Like everything, and that's why. <laughs> like, it's flour everywhere. I make my own sauce, I make my own dough. No, I mean, we cook in the sense that every bit of protein on my truck that is not a cured meat, we make. So if you eat beef off my truck, we cooked it that morning. You eat chicken off my truck, we cooked it that morning. You eat bacon off my truck, we cooked it that morning. The lamb, the pulled pork, everything we do, we cook all of it. I mean, some of it isn't even cooked. The Italian sausage that we make, our homemade Italian sausage goes on the pizza raw. That gets cooked on the pizza in the oven, which is why it tastes better than most any other Italian sausage you will eat on pizza. Did they order? Yeah. Who ordered? Uh, the guy in the sky shirt. Oh, I didn't see him. What? I started describing the 420, and he was like, yes, yes. Check, please. You have a pizza called 420? Yeah. It's I'm already a, excited about it. It's a, you'll see it. It's a cheese slice. It gets chili cheese Fritos and grizzly sauce. Genius. Here. We make this every day. It is awesome. Excuse me. Called grizzly sauce? Mm hmm. It's like crack. That's pretty legit. Damn, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay, I'm gonna have to find y'all because I like to party, and after partying, you're gonna need some food. <laughs> Not yeah. to come here and eat that. Yeah, it's pretty real. 420 pizza. At this point, right, the theory is you get a little something on there to keep everything held down. Then you take habaneros. that are diced like that, fine, all right? So, go ahead. Just sprinkle them on? Yeah, yeah, with uh, the gloves. Just, just yee, 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 yee. Sorry, I'm not No, you're fine, Mike. But you need to get it like, here, here, here. You got enough in there. That's the enough? Part. Yeah, yeah. I if like it gotta, spicy. <laughs> yeah. Every pizza I make, everything that's made on this truck, even the cheese, even the pepperoni, all of it has theory. Like, no, I'm serious, it has construction theory. Like. There is a very serious order that things go on pizzas. Like on all my menu, everything has an order on how it's built. And if it's if it isn't built in the right order, like I Throws get, the whole system I, off. Yeah, yeah, I won't sell it. I got you. Our slices are quartered out of this size pizza, right? So a slice is 
that, that. Okay. Right? So you have to imagine this pizza, right, as four pieces of pizza. So you have to be able to look at it and say how much habanero is on each pizza. So I can ask why there's lacking cheese over here? Well, because I'm not done yet. Okay. The Just habane making sure. Because the habaneros go under the cheese. I don't know if you knew you are doing it. Huh? No, no, I, I promise. <laughs> I do. You're right. You totally f got me. <laughs> I mean, just move fast. Yeah. Come in a little right there. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, pretty good. Pretty good. Got it down. <laughs> Next up is goat cheese. So this is always fun to put on because it's a pain in the ass. You're just going to take it. You can take pieces about that big, give or take, and just kind of go around. So here, let me see your gloved hand. Here, there's that one. You got to eat them at the same time, though. That's the thing. Meaning a peach with this? Yeah. I like whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> it really tastes like yeah, whiskey. Yeah, it's really good though. So, same same thing, right? So, um, you want every slice to get, you know, a little. Now, the other one is, remember the edge of the pizza is there. Pizza technicalities. <laughs> so many rules. Then after that, blueberries go on. Blueberries on pizza. Soaked in they booze. Well, booze. Alright, Mr. Cameraman. Give, give me a hand. Come here. As in literally, give, give me give me, give you me have a to hand. Try some. <laughs> Legit. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's it's good. like taking a shot. Yeah, that's not that's 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 adult. You put I call that, that on a pizza? Yeah. Now again, like, this is gonna sound like a little much, guys. I know it's just pizza, but I take my pizza seriously, okay? Like, when you get them, if you notice at the bottom, there's about a half inch of whiskey at the bottom mm. of this Cambro, okay? So when you get them, you wanna actually get From the some bottom. whiskey, like, on your fingers. Like, okay. I'm not trying to get, like, like that, like a fucking... Yeah. But you wanna get them from the bottom, so you do that. So when you start going through, a little whiskey just falls off your hand. Hello. How are you? Great. Give me one second, man. We'll be right with you. No problem. So, yeah, actually, that was, that was, that was good. That oven is real. And that's uh, the that's end to the drunken peach? Uh, until it goes in the oven, yeah. Right on. And that's the start of the 420. So, yep, after that, on the peel, in the oven. funny, I found out that if you tell people that you have, like, all your pizzas are extra large pizzas and the slices are quartered out of that, they're kind of like, what, huh? So I've started telling people, look, if you order two slices from me, it's like eating half an extra large pizza. <laughs> that seems, they're like, oh, 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 shit. Oh, you wow. get it now. That gets their attention. Yeah. Half a pizza. Yes. Like, your pizza's delicious. Yeah. Right. All right, man. There's a... There's your drunken peach. It needs to set a little, because all that booze and liquid and all that fruit gets a little soupy, but once it sits for about three minutes, perfect. <laughs> it's really good, because you can taste the whiskey in it. Fruit, like the freshness of it, it's pretty legit. Definitely. I would recommend. Next time I'm out partying, drinking it up, I'm gonna have to find this food truck because I gotta try the 420. It's kind of my style. <laughs>